Hello everyone, uh, this is Patrick Willard. Um, we're actually going to learn how to make some paper as part of the Pulp and Paper Merit Badge. Or if you just won't feel like making paper, this is actually a great activity for your Cub Scouts or if your child that's doing their uh, Pulp and Paper Merit Badge has any um, other siblings that they might want to do. The first thing you're going to want to do is tear up some paper. It doesn't have to be in super big or super huge chunks. Um, I have a mixture here of just white, white paper with printing on it and then some old newspaper and stuff. And what you want to do is put that into a blender or a food processor. I have a blender. Um, don't use your mom's $500 Vitamix. Um, that would be bad because if you break the blender, you don't want to break it doing this. Um, this blender is like 30 bucks. Um, I would highly advise hitting a thrift store or something like that so that you're not using a super fancy blender, okay? Next thing you want to do is make sure that your paper is covered with water. Now, you're not going to want to cover, you know, fill the entire thing up, but you do want to cover it with water. So, and it doesn't really matter if it's cold or hot. It just has to be at the stage where all of the paper is covered. And what we're doing here, if you remember from, uh, from the slides that we've been going over, is we are taking this paper and we are pulping it, okay? So what we are doing is breaking everything down to where we are creating it to where there will just be raw cellulose fibers, okay? And then we're going to take those fibers and we're going to make paper. So I apologize if this is super loud on the phone. Do that. You may need to hold this in place, okay? You're going to want to let it blend for right about an hour, okay? Oh, sorry. Not an hour, a minute. <laughs> sorry about that. And it will take some time, but it will get going. If you need to use the pulse setting, you kind of just stir everything up like that. That works too. And what we're going to do now is we're going to check on it, okay? So let's get this out, okay? And you can see right there, that's the pulp, okay? And all of those little bits, that's the raw cellulose, okay? So what we're going to do is you want to take this. Now, this would be the time where, you know, one of the things we talked about in the merit badge is the difficulties that the pulp and paper industry have regarding the environment. One, you can see this whole process. I'm making a little tiny, tiny bit of paper. It's very intensive in terms of water usage. You have to have the water in order to pulp the paper. You have to have the water to wash it out. And then if we were to be washing this paper with either bleach or a bleach-free solution to make everything white, you'd have to bleach it and then rinse that off again. Okay, so this is part of the uh, the sustainability process that pulp and paper companies are having to go through in order to make themselves more environmentally friendly. So what you want to do is you want to take your pulp and you're going to pour it into this, okay? The main thing with whatever container you're using is that it has to be big enough for you to fit something in to get the pulp and paper out, okay? Um, you can make a device where you basically take a picture frame you stretch a screen over it, you staple it in place, and then you take another picture frame and you screw it together and you do it that way. That's a great way to get rectangular pieces of paper. But right now with the COVID-19 situation, I don't necessarily want anyone going anywhere to have to obtain picture frames and stuff. So we're going to use a spatter guard. Another option you can use is just a regular old strainer, okay? Because all we're doing is making a piece of paper. We don't have to make a super duper fancy piece of paper. 
So we're gonna make three different kinds using three different things. Another thing you have is if you have a mom or a grandma that's into needlepoint, you can take a needlepoint hoop and put some screening over it and use that as well, okay? So we're gonna pour our pulp and paper in there, okay? And you can see how easily everything moves around, okay? And you wanna stir it up a little bit. If you have any really big chunks, you're gonna wanna get rid of those, but luckily it looks like everything pretty much happened pretty quick for us. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your strainer, in this case your um, uh, spatter guard, okay? Now you'll see that there's a lip on one side of it, okay? You wanna use the other side, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here, we're gonna dry it off, and we're gonna kinda pancake it over, okay? And you just dig in, okay? And you raise it up. And you want to let all of the water drip off, okay? Because remember, in addition to making paper, we're also not trying to not make a mess, okay? So you want to let that just drip off, okay? And you can bring it over here, okay? Bring it to a waiting towel. Have a bunch of these little hand towel, ha have some hand towels nearby, okay? What you're gonna want to do is put this on top and just gently pat it down. Don't move it, just pat it down. Okay, try and sop up some of that water. You can do this with paper towels as well. However, with the, uh, with the current paper towel shortage, I'm just gonna use some regular hand towels. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up. Yeah, gently, don't tear it off, okay? And there we go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna give it another flip. We're gonna go right over here and one, two, three, whoop like a big pancake. And then what you're gonna do is, with this one, you have to let it dry for a bit. So what you're gonna wanna do is put another towel over it, pat it dry, as much dry as you can, okay? And you're gonna take that off, and you're just gonna wait, just wait. Just let it sit there for like an hour, and then it should peel right off. We're gonna try this. The problem with this, with doing it with the spatter guard, is that the mesh is so fine that it kind of likes to stick. That's why we have to let it dry. If you're gonna use the hoop, it goes a little easier. So, you know, same process. Get it down there, wiggle it around, lift it up. This one, you have to wait a little longer for the water to drain out, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now one of the things you might notice is you might get some gaps. You can always kind of shove some of your pulp over. Or if you get too thick of a thing of pulp, like see here, this is too thick. We don't want paper that's that thick. So you want to dunk it back down. Maybe get rid of some of that pulp and maybe try and, there you go. Whoosh it around so it's a little more flat. And I will be the first one to admit I am not the greatest at this because uh, I'm pretty much learning right with you guys. So it's, it, it takes a little while to learn how to do this properly, and that's one reason why we have big machines and companies that do this for us, because when you're making your own paper, you know, it takes a little while to get good at it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. All right, pretty flat, looks good. Most of the water's dripped off. And again, we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna set it down. Let's move this guy over a bit. There you go. Get a towel, and put it over. Pat it as dry as you can. Try and leach out as much of the water as you can, okay? And this one is still pretty wet, so if you have to do it twice, do it twice. Okay, and then what you do is, once again, you give this guy the flip. Now this guy, because you can kind of pat it down a little bit, should start to fall. There it goes, you can see that little bubble. And just kind of try and pat it along that bubble. So 
that your paper starts to fall off. And again, you don't have to do this. I'm doing this because I'm on video and I want to show you guys what one looks like when it's fresh out of the thing. But you can always just let this dry until... Come on. Oh, I got a tear. That's okay. You can always just let it dry until it's ready to drop off on its own because as it dries, it will actually shrink a little bit. So this is what a brand new fresh paper looks like, okay? And this is one that I made about an hour ago, okay? It's still pretty wet, but as you can see, it is definitely paper, okay? Got a little bu bit of a bubbly texture, okay? Now, if you wanted it to be super bright white, we talked about when you'd have to do the bleaching and stuff, but you know, for the purposes of the merit badge, or if you wanna make a killer Mother's Day note, this is a good thing to do. Um, another thing that me and my sister were talking about, my sister's the cameraman before we started filming, was um, if you could, uh, while it's in this stage, when it's in the mold, you could get some watercolor paint or maybe some uh, food dye, and maybe you could color it so that it would have some color. So I hope this helps you guys make some paper. Um, and uh, it's been great being your merit badge counselor, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Have a great day.